Hello, Bob Kelly from the Flexera product management team here to talk to you today about a new backlog management feature that we've added in Admin Studio 2021. Packaging teams must deal with a regular backlog of requests to meet the need to prepare and test new and updated applications for deployment. In Admin Studio 2021, we're introducing a new feature to help you manage such requests right in Admin Studio where you do that work. Here's a simple process to illustrate this. You get a request, it gets approved, you do that work of creating the deployment package, and then you push that out. Now it's common to leverage an ITSM ticketing system to track such requests, and we're not suggesting that you replace that, but we now offer an additional integration option that may help to greatly improve your existing process. I'll now demonstrate a few ways you can go about doing this. We introduced this first method in Admin Studio 2020. Here, you can simply import a CSV file right into Admin Studio to populate your backlog. The source can be any inventory system or a source for which you have a simple list of applications. The only required value here is the product name, but if you have the vendor and version, we can leverage that to provide better recommendations when matching to your catalog or to the package feed module database. The next method I want to share is by leveraging PowerShell. Admin Studio Enterprise Edition provides extensive support for PowerShell via special commandlets. A new command has been added to support this feature, and that is the new-as package request. You can provide several optional values, but required are the product name and what you'd like to identify as the source of the request. If you have a process where you're leveraging PowerShell to automate packaging activities, this may provide a great new way to loop Admin Studio more directly into your request and response process. For many solutions capable of external integration, a REST API is a common requirement, so we've produced this option as well. First, I'll show you a simple demo to illustrate how it can work. Then, I'll show a more real-world scenario using our Workflow Manager product. This time, starting with a blank backlog, I'm just going to add a couple of new products. Again, the product name and source are the required values, but others can be optionally provided. In all cases, if you don't provide a priority, it will default to a value of 3. I'll now wrap up this series of short demos with a more real-world demonstration of how you can leverage this new backlog feature using Workflow Manager. I'll start with an application catalog that already has a few packages. There's also a couple of packages already in the backlog, which I've matched the package feed module and subscribed to, so those are handled automatically now. This view is great for initiating application automation features. So let's configure those. I'll add a test step to interrogate the installer details against Admin Studio's rules, which by default include application compatibility, virtualization, and MSIX suitability, Java dependencies, ICE rules or best practices for MSIs, conflict analysis, and so forth. All these results stem from the same test action, so it's as simple as turning it on. I'll also set to wrap the package with the PowerShell App Deploy Toolkit using my customized template. Then I'll want to publish the package to Configuration Manager. In fact, I'll publish the installer using the application model as well as the wrap package. And so they are easier to spot in Configuration Manager. I'll put them in a group called Demo. If you haven't already, choosing a distribution system requires that you've previously configured one as we have here. But it's very straightforward, and while we're using Configuration Manager here, you could just as easily use Intune, Workspace ONE, Avanti LAN Desk, and so on. As you can see, we have a demo group here in Configuration Manager that's presently empty. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the Workflow Manager solution to call the Admin Studio API for adding applications to the backlog. So this requires me to do a couple of things. First, we'll log in, then go into Company Preferences, and in here, we'll make sure we have the URL for Admin Studio entered so that the API calls can be properly directed. This isn't anything new. Workflow Manager and Admin Studio have long been integrated, but until now, the API used were not documented. What we'll do now is edit a template we have here called New Package Request. This particular workflow template has sections for 
collecting package information, and then issuing the request, and then closing out the request. This is just for demonstration purposes. It's the package request phase that we want to focus upon here. The step type is admin studio integration, and the automation task is package request. The other actions were available previously, but we've now added package request as a way to add to the admin studio package backlog. Here you can also set any default values, which you may wish to do for priority, which is a one to five value. Okay, that's what the template looks like. Now let's run through it and see how it works. We'll give the request a name and then kick off the workflow process for the request. We've got some basic details collected up front, target operating system, architecture, language. Here we'll fill in the details about the package being requested. In this case, the Azure command line interface. With all that filled in, we'll complete the step of the workflow process and this template has a final step of entering some closing comments. Now we'll jump back into Admin Studio and have a look at the results. For this first example, we are requesting an application that as a packager you'd be happy to receive as the application already exists in the application catalog. So in the backlog, we can just match it to the existing package and we're done. While I'm at it, We'll match the package feed module catalog and subscribe to it so that new versions will be detected and processed automatically in the future. Now we'll jump back into Workflow Manager and initiate a second request, this time for an application not already in the catalog. For the sake of time, I'll speed this one up quite a bit, but what we're doing is running through the same process, this time for Ultra Edit. And now we'll jump back into Admin Studio to see the result. Because it's been sitting here open, I'll need to refresh it. There's no match in the catalog this time because it doesn't already exist there. So the fastest way to satisfy this request is to match it to the package feed module database. I'll choose the 64-bit English version of the installer. Then I can just select this item, choose Execute, and it will initiate the configured package automation where I import, test, wrap, and publish to Configuration Manager. Jumping over to the catalog view, you can see that we've now got Ultra Edit here, along with the vendor install package and the PowerShell app deploy toolkit wrapped version of the package. You can see the install and uninstall commands. The detection method and other helpful details are also automatically populated. And we ran tests, so we can see the results of those tests. I only chose to run tests against Windows 10 20H2 64-bit because that's the build of Windows 10 that I care about in this example. There are a couple of warnings, some of which I can see can be automatically fixed by the little tool icon indicated. We also checked to see for MSIX compatibility, and there are a couple of warnings here as well. It seems there's a custom action in the package and a component that installs only when certain conditions are met. So I may want to look into those. And as we did publish Ultra Edit to Configuration Manager when we ran the automation, let's go have a look at it there. In Configuration Manager under Applications and Demo, which was our target folder, we also chose to have it land in the Vendor and then Product folder. And if we go into the version, we should be able to see that we have under deployment types, both packages, the MSI directly and the PowerShell App Deploy Toolkit wrapped version. So that wraps up the demos. Admin Studio continues to innovate and improve and now provides even more ways to streamline the preparation and delivery of new and updated applications by connecting directly to your package request process. And there's more to come. Please come and suggest ideas and vote on existing ideas in our community ideas area. Thank you.